morning guys today i'm going to show you a little bit about how i do my google meet hack as i'm going to call it i manipulate the video going in and i also manipulate the audio you got to check this out that's me on the google meet it's not a canned google background i'm running my green screen behind me through obs can you see this program right here it is obs and I will get into the nitty gritty later about how I manipulate that to have all these cool video backgrounds, picture backgrounds, whatever you guys want. I'll just switch through a couple. There's uh, us at the Golden Knights hockey game. Pretty sweet first season with the drummers out there. Go Knights, go. Got to represent our Vegas uh, hockey team there. All right, so I've got OBS. It is free. You can use this program. If you find it, you got to add a couple things to it, though. Um, but OBS shoots the video to something called a virtual camera. And the virtual camera tricks your computer into thinking that it has another camera. All right? Because right now I just have the webcam right there. But that's it. OBS shoots the video through the webcam, then exports it somehow magically as a virtual camera. And that is a key thing to figure out in your uh, Google Meet when you go to your settings and you go to video I have it selected as a virtual camera I was also using cam twist but we're using OBS today OBS virtual camera yay life is good there's me in the meet I can switch the pictures around if I want obviously um, let's see here yeah that's a kids favorite there the street art it's pretty cool all right, so that is for the video in a Google Meet. But I also am running my audio through this pretty cool microphone, uh, not using the one on my uh, headset because this one bumps into your shirt and makes a bunch of noise. This one's awesome. I can scoot it out of the way and scoot it back. It's pretty cool. Uh, what is that running through? It's running through Logic, which is kind of like hyped up GarageBand on my Mac. Let me see if I can get some of this out of the way. There we go. So Logic, you can create my dance vocal right now. And the vocal is just manipulated however you want to in the program. But the key is, in Logic, I'm sending it to <laughs> a multi-output device. This is where it gets tricky. The multi-output device, you'll see it in a second. But the input is this microphone. So this microphone goes into Logic logic shoots it out into two places so where is logic giving the audio to well right here if i'm in my midi midi setup through you can find this in preferences on your mac uh, multi-output device you have to create this awesome thing let me see if i make it bigger yeah it doesn't matter all right multi-output device what is it doing it's sending to my headphones but it's also sending to Black Hole 16 channel, which is like a digital mixer sort of thing. So that's key, because audio goes to Logic, Logic sends it to multi-output multi device, and then that sends it to headphones and the 16 channel thinger, all right? Now, you got to tell your Google Meet to accept sound from the 16 channel. So let's see what that is. If I go to my Meet, Settings, ding, ding, ding. And I've got audio. Microphone is the Black Hole 16 channel virtual microphone. It's not real. It's being routed through a few things. So that's how I get the audio and video into the Google Meet. And to troubleshoot some of this, I was just joking around. You have your, your Mac um, system preferences thing here at the bottom left where it's like, oh yeah, I'm using the AT2020 USB microphone. There I set my gain. Life is good. What's the output? Oh, multi-output device. So that one has to be happy. Your MIDI preferences has to be happy. Your logic preferences have to be obviously happy. And then in your Google Meet, you have to make that happy too. So when something goes wrong, it can be bad, and you have to manually select the USB microphone and bypass it all, which has happened, I don't know, once, but... When you're in the morning and you have your cup of coffee, you can solve a lot of problems. So if you have any questions about that, I will be um, going in-depth about how I set those up again. Uh, it took me 
a little bit of time on the forums reading about OBS, virtual cam, and getting this stuff to pop up. But one of the perks is you can switch cameras on your OBS, I'm sorry, you can switch cameras through your Google Meet, like on the fly. I have a camera that goes down on a drum pad or a camera that goes on the keyboard so I can make my image right here that you see me. It'll just be a keyboard and me playing. It's wicked cool. All right, this is, uh, what's today? I don't know, February 4th. Time's just flying by. I'll bring something in there again tomorrow for you guys. All right, peace out.